Hey guys, so I always say everyone can cook, whether you're a beginner, whether you're a professional, whether you're intermediate, if you like to eat, you'll know how to cook. I'm with Belle. Belle loves- Hi guys, to eat. She loves to eat. <laughs> and she also has a lot of parties at home, not parties, but dinner parties. Mm -hmm. um, and you, she usually puts those together last minute. Yes. Right, and usually- I just, procrastinate. She procrastinates, and then last minute she'll invite people, she'll have 10 people come to the house. Yeah. And when you do that, what do you usually serve them? I really roll deep. So I try to make basic things that I think that everybody would like, but I'm more on the healthy side. So what's your go-to like kind of party <laughs> recipe? Let's say last minute you have six people coming over, you have nothing ready. What do you make? Um, I usually go for a salad. Smoked salmon is one of the things because you can buy it right downstairs. Um, and then I'll have a salad or I'll have bread and that'll fill people up. Um, some cheese, cold cuts. Uh, maybe something like a pan seared salmon. I'm a huge fan of like metze platters, right? Okay. So things like hummus, tahini, yeah, that's a good um, one cucumber, stuff like that. Just because it's a lot of flavors, a lot of variations, and it's super filling. And you can usually just put it with like bread or pita, yeah. right? So I'm gonna show you basically how to do four different quote unquote metze style dishes okay. that you can put together in a plate with just like beautifully grilled um, bread with some olive oil and salt. So kind of like the thing you serve in one massive plate yeah. and people pika, will just pika. get extremely full from it using my best friend, the food, the food processor. So you're gonna grab the tomatoes. Okay. So again, in this series, guys, as, as much as I hate it, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'll try not to. So what you wanna do here is cut them vertically. So you can go ahead and just core that off. So okay. you wanna just kind of cut those up really roughly. Okay. A couple pieces. So you're gonna put that into our food processor here two cloves of garlic, and then grab the sun-dried tomatoes. I love sun-dried tomatoes. So just put, put a couple in there, and then you put a little bit of the olive oil. Tiny bit of sriracha, a little bit of toasted cashew nuts, um, and then you're gonna put a little bit of salt. Yeah. So you wanna blend this until it gets kind of like a paste. Okay. That's good. So all that just gets transferred. Now you're gonna prep the tzatziki. You're gonna grab your cucumbers, and you're gonna slice them thinly. So all that goes into our bowl here, all right? You're gonna take the Greek yogurt. Okay. So you're gonna mix that together uh, with some olive oil. Put a little bit of salt, mix that in, so that's good to go. Next, you're gonna get your food processor again, and you're gonna make a really kind of quick pea style hummus. So now I'm gonna put the green peas. You're gonna tahini. put like a half tablespoon of tahini. Then you're gonna take your avocado. We're gonna slice that in two and that gets chucked in. And we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, Thai basil, a couple strands. So what's great about this, it kind of has that, the bite of the, the sesame seeds, the tahini that's there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like bitter, but it's really good and delicious. All right, last couple pieces, two thick cuts of bread, please. So okay. I've got uh, my pan here, olive oil, and then you're gonna put a little bit of salt in there. And then the last piece that we're gonna do, salmon in the food processor. So you're gonna put some cottage cheese in there. All right, next you're gonna add feta. This gets blended. For your bread, you're looking for something crunchy like this. You have the uneven rustic corners and everything, so some sides are more burnt than the others, which is what I like. So we're pretty much done. So you have some coriander here, Belle. Quickly chop up. All right, so now we're gonna do a plating competition. Criteria is it has to look good, it has to look appetizing. So we need to finish off with some limes. And then finally we have passion fruit. All right, good to go? Yeah. So we'll start it. off two pieces of bread and then the rest is up to you how you want to put it together. Are you stressed? No. I'm clearly minus gonna be cuter because I know what your standard is. You're just gonna put everything together and just mess it up and make it one big beautiful mess. Don't copy my style. I'm not copying any that's actually not bad though. My Thai basil. Oh why are you adding pa? <laughs> You're trying to make it ano pa. So that's not gonna taste good anymore. Yeah it will what is the taste? I'm not sacrificing any taste. This is gonna taste fantastic. No don't add cashews I know I'm eating my don't cashews. cashews I'm hungry. Let's clearly look in both plates. Let's get a shot of both. We need we need a judge. Lorene! Sit here. You don't know who made what. What plate would you actually eat? Or what would you take a picture, picture of? Oh! So pissed. Again. It's okay. only because of this. <laughs> Seriously. Just because of the thing? Yeah. Hell but no. look, mine has this. It looks more polished. 
Thank you. Well, I won. Once again, Erwin Yusuf well, is the winner. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you are ever in a crunch at home and trying to entertain a lot of people, you can make this. Metsy platter. Metsy platter. Everyone will love it. Make sure you click this way, not this way. And make sure Bye. to also click on Bell to go to her channel and see all of her really kind of cute Sifa Arte content. Um, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more travel and food stuff. See you soon.